Yeah, so what happened is she went to bed one night, got up the next morning, and I can't lift it up like this. Just, but it's coming off tonight. That's right. Father, we just loose right now. Right all the way and just begin to stretch it up right now. Stretch it right up. And the other one. Just go up in the name of Jesus. Up, 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 up. In the name of Jesus. So I have all of that loose. All of the stiffness is loose tonight. That's right. Up in the name of Jesus. As I feel. Lifting it up straight up like this, I, I, I can't do it. It's just with help. That's what it has to be done. We just say strengthen right now. Strengthen in the name. Oh, there's the heat on there right now. Feel that? Feel that there? Father, just pause. Trying to put it down and lift it straight up. From what it was when you started, how would you say the difference is? It's a bit different, yes. <laughs> would you say? Would you say there's a lot of difference there? <laughs> now, Father, release fullness. saying you're going to stretch forth your hand and as you stretch it forth there's going to be a release of healing and even as you stretch it I believe there's a word of knowledge God just giving to you just an increase in the word of knowledge and as you stretch forth your hand and as you speak out those words of knowledge God's going to put anointing on this hand also as you take hold of people by the hand I believe God's going to begin to even give you discernment as to the physical problem that they have. Because what the enemy has tried to steal from you, God is restoring. Oh yeah, God is restoring right now. He's restoring it right now. He's restoring an anointing upon your life right now. I just feel too, it's like you've been laid aside. And God says it's time to come right back center stage. And it isn't a case of tentative steps. God says, I'm taking you tonight and putting you right into center stage. Because there's a new anointing coming upon you. And the anointing is going to make room for you. There it is. Oh, Shabbat Abbasa. We're going to ask him in a moment what's been happening. When I was sensing the... Whether you've been in ministry, I don't know. But I was sensing that you'd been involved in ministry. And um, it was like you were taken out from ministry. And I don't even see it was, you, it wasn't that you fell or anything like that. It's nothing to do with sin. But it was just like you just began to be moved out from that place. Would that be it? Yeah. And you've been asking God, God, when am I going to begin to move back into? Yeah. And it's not tentative steps. Because I believe tonight God has put an anointing where the enemy cut in on you. And like you say, you went to bed one night and you woke up in the morning and something was wrong. And I believe the enemy just came in on that. And now God's put an anointing upon you. I, I believe it's like the anointing. You need to read a person called Hal Harris. He was a Welsh revivalist. And it says he was as timid as a lamb. And he said, I went to bed one night and I woke up in the morning like a roaring lion. And he said these words, 
that to the point when I preached, people three miles away in other villages in the Welsh palace came under the sound of his voice and started to fall in repentance in the streets. And I just sense that God is putting that type of an anointing upon you. Whether it's three miles away or whether it's in the person you reach out to. But I believe God is saying you're going to wake up and just like you woke up and there was infirmity there, you're going to wake up and you're going to know the power of God is there. Because he says tonight is a new day. I have woken you up from the sleep of being set aside. And I'm bringing you right back into center stage. So I release that over you tonight. Because there is an anointing upon you for ministry. In the name of Jesus. And he will find a way in which to bring you back into that place. So I release that prophetically over you tonight. In Jesus name. Oh yeah. Come on. Let's give God glory. Wanted to hear a word from him. And the second was about the shoulder, but one was proof of the other. Because I'm tired of hearing from men, and I, I need to hear from Jesus himself. So, and that was what I came to.